Hey everybody, what's going on? Fallout here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another weapon review for you. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Graviton Lance, the exotic pulse rifle that got a buff with the Destiny 2 DLC, Warmind. Bungie's kind of on this whole buffs not nerfs thing, and they have recently buffed many exotic weapons, including the Graviton Lance, which is now a very, very fun weapon to use. We're going to talk about the gun in both PvE and PvP, but before we do that, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the weapons stats right here. It's a pulse rifle in the very new and very bizarre RPM category of 257 rounds per minute. Also, unlike other pulse rifles, the Graviton fires a two bullet burst, not a three bullet burst. If you couldn't tell, that was one of the recent changes made by Bungie to the weapon. Your first shot out of that two bullet burst is going to do normal damage, and the second shot is going to do massive damage. Not to mention kick harder than a drunken angry mule. The kick on this weapon before the patch was way noticeably harder to manage, it's actually relatively okay now. The kick is still very noticeable vertically, but much easier to control. It also comes with an interesting perk that makes the weapon really fun. It's called Cosmology. Kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that track down targets. It's basically a pulse rifle that feels a little bit like a scout rifle, and it's vaguely reminiscent of Fatebringer in Destiny 1 in regards to explosive loading enemies for a lot of fun. So why don't we go ahead and talk about how the Graviton Lance performs in PvP. In short, this gun is a monster, but only within its intended wheelhouse. You know what? Let's take a step back. I'm getting ahead of myself. Why don't we talk about damage numbers? In terms of bullet damage, if you fire the Graviton Lance, you hit the enemy in the head, on your first bullet you're going to do 12 damage. The second bullet that is followed by the Tremendous Kick will do 59 damage. For those of you keeping score at home, that's almost 5 times more damage than the first bullet. That comes together for 71 damage per burst for a whopping grand total of 213 damage if you do three bursts to your enemy in the head. I don't think I need to tell you this, but that is definitely strong enough to kill any guardian in the game, even those with maximum resilience. That reminds me of an old Halo 1 saying, three to the head, you know they did. What's that you're saying? You don't remember that as a Halo saying? Well, I said it, so screw you. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah. So the Graviton Lance, it's damned effective in PvP three bursts? That's really good. So what's the downside? Close range. The Graviton was designed to be effective at medium long to long range, and that's where it shines. Unless you're basically a PvP god, using it close up is going to buy you a one-way ticket to Deadsville. First class, too. Extra legroom. I'm not saying it's impossible to get kills up close, but it definitely ain't a picnic. Keeping that in mind, your best chances of using Graviton Lance well are on PvP maps with long sight lanes. For example, The Fortress, Altar of Flame, Vostok, am I pronouncing that correctly? I still don't know and Midtown. Most maps in Destiny 2 have a mixture of wide open areas and some close-up areas, so if you want to use Graviton Lance really well, you have to make sure that you're pairing it together with a kinetic weapon that specializes in busting heads up close. Some weapons that immediately come to mind when being paired with the Graviton Lance are the Antiope or any legendary hand cannon that does well in the kinetic position. You know, the DFA, the Old Fashioned, the Dire Promise, whatever. As long as you have have some kind of kinetic weapon that can handle your close range engagements. Which reminds me, one of the biggest things that the Graviton has going for it, at least in my opinion anyway, is the fact that it is an elemental pulse rifle. Some people are probably going to be asking right out the gate, well the Graviton Lance is good, but does it compete with the Vigilance Wing? And the answer to that is yes, yes it does. Even though the Vigilance Wing might be better at team shooting, it might have the more optimal time to kill, what the Vigilance Wing doesn't have is the ability to exist in your elemental weapon slot. I know that sounds weird, but I'm a huge fan of the Antiope, and one of the problems I have with the Vigilance Wing is that I can't use the Antiope and the Vigilance Wing at the same time. I don't have that problem with the Graviton Lance. If you combine together the Graviton Lance and either a rock-solid legendary hand cannon or the Antiope, you have in your hands one of the best weapon combinations that you can have in PvP. Think about it, you have medium to medium long range really covered by the three tap Graviton. Close range engagements, either the Antiope, any SMG you like, or a kinetic hand cannon. Boom, you're covered. It's very important to keep in mind, unless you're playing a team of people who 
basically have their hips glued together, you are almost never going to see the benefits of the Void Explosion perk on the Graviton in PvP. The appeal here in the PvP land is the 3 burst kill and the reliable performance at range. For the fun explodey stuff, let's talk about the Graviton in PvE. And I gotta be honest, there's not really a lot to say here. It's pretty awesome. The Void Explosions are fun and they can do big damage to lower level enemies who are constantly clumped together. And who's gonna turn down extra damage? Nobody. That's who. I'm not going to sit here and try to claim that it's the best weapon to use in PvE, but it definitely is fun, and it might be worth a try in Escalation Protocol when clearing repeated waves of enemies who are constantly close together. Whatever you do, if you're using it in PvE, same rule applies for PvP. Pair it together with another weapon that can do well in close quarters. So now, I want to hear from you. Do you like the new Graviton Lance? What do you like about it? Is it your go-to for killing Thrall? Do you find it fun? Or do you hate it? Tell me down in the comment section. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and tell me what other weapons you would like me to review, exotic or otherwise. And hey, as long as you're doing me favors, why don't you go ahead and click the like button, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, it really does help me out tremendously. And as always, if you want to be a super homie, you can click on the little gray notification bell so you never miss the sound of my voice. Awkward. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. See you next time.